Hey there football fans, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got some shocking news to share with you. Former Scotland international, David Goodwillie, has been released from English 7th tier side Radcliffe Football Club. But here's the twist, he was only let go after scoring a hat trick for them. Now, you might be wondering why this is such a big deal. Well, let's take a trip down memory lane. Back in 2011, Goodwillie and his former Dundee United teammate, David Robertson, were accused of raping a woman after a night out. Although no criminal case was ever brought against them due to insufficient evidence, a civil court judge ordered them to pay £100,000 in damages to the woman. Since then, Goodwillie's professional career has been on a downward spiral. He's been released not once, but twice by Clyde Football Club and also by Wraith Rovers, all because of fan opposition to his signing. But it seems like Radcliffe Football Club didn't get the memo. They made the decision to bring Goodwillie on board without even announcing that he had signed a contract. And to make matters worse, they didn't communicate this to their supporters either. So, you can imagine the shock when Goodwillie was named in the starting 11 for their match against Belper Town. But here's where it gets interesting. Goodwillie didn't just play, he scored a hat trick in a 4 2 win. Talk about making an impact. However, the club quickly realized their mistake and issued an apology the next day. They admitted that signing Goodwillie was a significant misstep and that their due diligence should have been better. As a growing community club, they understand that their actions have a wider impact. They've always been about giving people second chances and supporting their rehabilitation. But in this case, they admit that they went too far. They sincerely apologize to everyone connected with the club and the community promising that a mistake like this will never happen again. So, there you have it, folks. David Goodwillie's roller coaster career takes another twist as he's released by Radcliffe Football Club, but not before scoring a hat trick for them. Let us know your thoughts on this shocking turn of events in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more football news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.